Hello, I am Manish, a Cloud Support Associate here at the AWS office in Bangalore. Today, I am going to show you how to resolve an error indicating that an AWS Key Management Service policy contains a statement with one or more invalid principles. Let's get started. When we create identities within AWS Identity and Access Management, also known as IAM, we often give them friendly names such as Alice, D, or Administrator. IAM entities can also be identified with their ARNs. When IAM creates a user, group, role, policy, instance profile, or server certificate, it assigns to each entity a unique ID that looks like this. Suppose D an IAM user in our company specified in an AWS KMS key policy, but D leaves the company. And later on, a new person also named D is hired and an IAM user is created with the same name. In general, when an IAM user or an IAM role that has access to AWS KMS key is deleted, AWS KMS replaces the ARN of this entity with its unique ID in the key policy. This makes sure that this new employee, D, does not inherit the key permissions granted to the previous user. This is for security purposes to prevent inadvertent access to the new IAM user. However, when you continue using this key policy or try to save it, you will experience this error. Let me show you the demonstration of the error and its resolution. After logging into AWS Management Console, navigate to the AWS KMS Console. Then select the key. Select Switch to Policy View. And now we can see the current permissions on this key. Navigate to the IAM Console. and choose Users. Select the user D and then choose Delete User. Next, choose Roles. Select the role Admin Role and then choose Delete Role. Navigate back to AWS KMS console. Note that the ARN of the user, D and admin role are replaced by their unique IDs. To see the error message, choose the edit button and then try to save the key policy by choosing save changes. To resolve this error, review the statements in the key policy and remove any unique IDs while paying attention to the trailing commas. Then choose save changes. So now I have demonstrated to you why an invalid principal error occurs in AWS KMS and what to do to resolve this. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.